Okay, how is everybody? Hi, hi Pina, hi Massimo, hi Annalisa, hi Filippo, hi, oh, that's all. <laughs> how is everybody? Oh, Samira, hello. Excellent. Okay. Technology is tricky. No? <laughs> okay. I hope that you're all okay with the lockdown. Uh, we're trying to give you as many activities as possible. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Let's start. I might, I'm going to start with a few just introduction questions like, okay, my name is Liz or Elizabeth, Elizabeth, the Queen of English. <laughs> uh, I, I come from, I come from Australia. Yes. Australia, Sydney, yes, and I have I uh, have been here. I I uh, have lived in Italy for almost ten years. Ten years. Uh, I have two children, two babies, and uh, my favorite travel experience. Let's say. My favorite travel experience has been to um, Leolandia, Leolandia, Leolandia in Bergamo. I'm Liza Minnelli now. <laughs> my, anyway, my favorite travel experience has been was was in Leolandia in Bergamo and my favorite Disney movie Disney favorite Disney movie Disney movie is uh, Coco so if you could please tell me your favorite travel experience or your favorite Disney movie or if you could please tell me your name, where you're from. Oh yeah, Coco is very cute, yes. Where you're from, uh, yes. Why are you learning English? I'm from Livorno, so my yes, Livorno, or Leghorn, we like to say. Leghorn is the English version of Livorno. So if you could tell me please your name, where you're from in Italy, your favorite Disney film, if you can, and your favorite travel experience. Fiorella, I'm from Milan, hello, hello. Good, excellent. Milan must be difficult to be there at the moment. Anybody else? No? <laughs> Nobody else. Okay. Well, I have lived in Italy for nine years, nine, almost 10 years, and I married a, a Calabrian. Oh, Ugo. Hello, Ugo. Ugo from Verona. Nice. My name is Ugo from Verona. I'm Peter from England. Peter. And Filippo from Cagliari. My favorite Disney movie is The Lion King. Oh, The Lion King is great. The Lion King is great. I love The Lion King. I saw The Lion King in, on stage in the theater in Sydney. Malpens, I study English to improve. Oh, you're looking, you're looking to improve your English for your job. Excellent. Yes. So, 
Samira is from Pescara. Favorite movie is Mulan. Oh, I love Mulan. Such a good, strong female movie. I'm from near Milan. My favorite child is Jamaica. Oh, yes, excellent. I have been to Jamaica. Jamaica is lovely, beautiful. And Filippo from Cagliari, my favorite is Lion King. Yes, excellent. Malpensa. Uh, what, Annalisa, you want to find a job. What type of job are you looking for? Annalisa, Annalisa Porta. <laughs> this is the first time I've done this, so please. <laughs> I am, <laughs> I am a, an amateur, let's say. Annalisa. And there might, there is a delay. There is a delay on uh, the the uh the responses so i'm sorry if i don't get your text straight away and i don't answer straight away because there is a delay receptionist front and back okay excellent good all right let's begin our first uh focus activity yes excuse me while i organize it okay asking questions if you don't uh, I don't have a very strong Australian accent because I've lived out of Australia for a, a fairly long, a very long time. But uh, <laughs> if you don't understand anything, uh, anything that I am saying, please write in the comments and I can uh, help you with that. Okay. So today is asking questions. In this focus activity, question words, asking questions, and to learn the quasi trick. Okay, let's move on. Okay, out of order. Put the words in the correct order. So here we see words, which are questions. These are questions. And we need to put them into the correct order to create a question. So here we have books, kind, what, like, you, of, do. So when we see the question mark, we're thinking do will be the last word in the question, yes? Number two is admire, who, you, family, your, do, in do work when they homework his does where he do question mark at the end you turn on the how do tv study why we do english so the question mark will be at the end, but we don't know how the words are put into order. So we need to find out how we can put these words into order. Okay, so who can put the first question into order? What do we start with? How can we start the question? What do we start the question with? <gasps> Number one, though? Number one? Oh, number one, what? Oh, perfect, perfect. Fiorella is perfect. What kinds? We need kinds though, because it's it's a what kinds of books do you admire? Do you like? Do you like? Perfect. Number two. Mm -hmm. Who do you admire in your family? Perfect, Filippo. Number three, when do they work? Perfect. Number four, ooh, let me see. What kinds, mm, homework, number four. Number four, homework. We have, okay, yes, yes. Books is fine, yes, perfect. 
Great. Great. Who has an answer to number four? Homework. Almost. I understand there's a delay in the responses. Oh, here we no. Okay, where do? Mm. Where? Mm, close, close, Fiorella, but not quite. Close, Fiorella is very close for the homework, but we need to change, change something. You're very close, Fiorella. Very close. You just need to change, switch something. Everybody is getting all of the other, all of the other questions correct. Okay, yes, number five, Filippo is correct. But what about homework, number four? We haven't got a correct response from homework. Mm -hmm. Waiting on a correct response for homework. Yes, Samira, Samira, correct. Where does he do his homework? So we're talking about the location. Oh, perfect. Well, you know, you got it right also. Also, Massimo, correct. Where does he do his homework? Correct, perfect. So we're talking about, we're, we're asking about the location that he completes his homework. Where, where does he do his homework? Where does he do it? In his office? Does he do it at school? Does he do it uh, in his bedroom? Where, where does he do his homework? Perfect, great, excellent. Number five, we did. Number six. Number six. How do we complete this sentence? How is this sentence structured? I understand there's still a delay, so I'm sorry if you're waiting, but. Yes, exactly, exactly. So Massimo, apart from the six, <laughs> yes. And then Filippo, perfect, perfect. Why do we study English? Now, I would like you to answer that question. Why do we study English? Please tell me, why do we study English? Why do we study English? Why are you studying English at the moment? Hmm? I study Italian. So, you understand. Italian. <laughs> because I live in Italy. <laughs> Why do we study Italian? Why are you studying Italian? What is your personal reason? If you can, tell me. I study English because I'm moving to Norway. Wow, to Norway, wow. Beautiful place. I study English because I want to find an, <laughs> an English fiance. <laughs> okay, well, I like your uh, uh, positivity and I like your uh, 
the, your truthfulness. I like it. <laughs> I study English for myself for a job. Perfect. Uh, no. Number four, where does he do? No. And number four is why does he study homework? Why, why does he study English? I'm sorry. <laughs> I study English because I want to travel. Okay. Um, Filippo, you are hilarious. <laughs> And I have an interruption from my children. Excuse me. Go away. Go away. Go away. I have two children. <laughs> One second. Bilakwa! Sorry. Very sorry. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I study English because it's so important to work for my, to work to my work and dreams. I have to learn it if I want to achieve my... Good, yes, I agree. How do you turn on the television? Yes, correct. <laughs> yes, I have uh, two children. My husband is from Calabria and they, they are stuck at home so they're with me and I'm actually in their room. So they're a bit uh, anxious to get in here. <laughs> ah, good, good. Okay, so we study English mostly for travel, for work, or to find an English fiance. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> let's move on, let's move on. Okay. Yeah. Here we can see the answers. What kinds of books do you like? Who do you admire in your family? When do they work? Where does he do his homework? Good. And it does because he, the subject is he. How do you turn on the TV? And why do we study English? Okay, so with do, we have to think about third person, yes? So I do, I do, you do, you do, we do, they do, but he, she, it does. So we need to always remember if we're speaking in the third person, which is he, she, it, or if we're speaking with I, you, we, or they. Also, remember that you is also one person, singular, or you in the, with like, like, uh, oh, how do we, um, like you, uh, plural, you plural. So it's either you, singular, or you, plural. It's the same in English. We don't have different words for you, singular, you, plural. So I do, you do, we do, they do, you do, plural, or he, she, it does. Perfect. Okay, moving on. Question words, question words. Okay, who can tell me what we use who for? So who is for what? Who? We're, we're forming questions in English. When do we use who? Who? When do we use who? Does anybody know? Ah, yes. Perfect. Excellent. Good job, Raffaele. Who is for people? So, could you create a question using who? What kind of question could you make with who? Who?
Can you make it? Can you create a question with who? Who? We can do these after. Who is the best? Ooh. Who is the best? Who is the best? I don't know. <laughs> okay. What is not not quite for condition, but for things? What? What? No, not who is not for women. Who is for people in general? Who are you? Okay, perfect. I am Liz. Great. Great. Who is, who is the, oh, okay. So who is the woman? So you're asking who is the woman, not women. You've spelt this here has been spelt as a plural. Women, woman. Women is an irregular plural. And we need to make sure the pronunciation is correct. So woman, one, woman, singular, woman, and women, 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 we, it's like we, 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 women is plural. It's a very strange word. Sometimes English is, is it doesn't make sense. Like here, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, woman, one, women, women, plural, good. So what is for things like what do you do on uh, Friday, for example? Where is for what? Where? Where? What is where used for? You can think. Where? Okay, how is for condition, yes. Where is for places? Oh, Filippo. You're amazing. <laughs> okay, good, exactly. Where is for places? Situations, oh. I gave you when is for time, exactly. When is for time. Can anybody think of a question for when? Yes, where is for places or situations? Like where do you go on Thursday? <laughs> When is for time? Can anybody think of a question for when? Oh, perfect. When do you go on holiday? Oh, excellent, excellent. So I, using a uh, an adverb of frequency, adverb of frequency, I usually go on holidays uh, in the summertime. Perfect, perfect question. Can anybody tell me my other adverbs of frequency? Can we think of the other adverbs of frequency? So I used always. What other adverbs of frequency do we have? Right, often. Uh, others? Can we think of others? Usually, perfect. Yes. Other adverbs of frequency? Oh, yes, perfect. Rarely, always, never. Perfect, right. You guys are good. <laughs> Excellent. What about hardly ever? Sometimes, excellent. Sometimes, hardly ever. What about when we use these terms twice a uh, or once a? Uh? What do these mean? 
Do we know what these mean? Once a or twice a? Oh, yes, perfect. So once a means one time a month, a week, a year. And twice a means two times a month, a year. Excellent, perfect. Yes. You guys are great. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? When do we use why? Why is for? Why is for? Why is for? Hmm. Reason. Perfect. Exactly. Why is for reason? So who can use why in a sentence? Who can use why? I need why in a sentence. Good, great. Robi, Fiorella, Massimo, Raffaele, Titi. Very good. Who can use it in a sentence? Why? Why do you go? Oh, exactly. Perfect. Why do you study English? Perfect question. Perfect question. Why do you study English? And we answered that. We said we study English because we want to travel. We want to study. We want an English fiance. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. Why does he play guitar? Perfect. Perfect. Why do you in this movie? Raffaele. Why do you in the swimming pool? Why do you go swimming in the swimming pool, perhaps? Yes. Or why do you like the swimming pool? I'm missing a verb here. Missing a verb with uh, the swimming pool. Oh, don't be sorry. Don't worry. We're here to learn. Don't worry about it. Okay. So you need a verb. Why do you verb and then in the swimming pool or the swimming pool? Why do you like the swimming pool? Why do you visit the swimming pool? Why do you go to the swimming pool? Yeah. Go to perhaps. Yes. Okay. Which is for? What do we use which for? Which? Which? Oh, I'm not sad. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes, very good question. Why are you sad? I'm sad. I'm sad because of this silly virus. <laughs> virus, sorry. Right, which choice, exactly, which choices or choice. So who can create a question for which? Which, which, mm, let me think, which, which do you prefer? Red or blue? Choices. Which do you like better? Mm -hmm. Disney or Marvel? Even though they're almost the same thing. Yes. Who, ooh, which t-shirt do you like? Ooh, okay, excellent. Which do you like? Which do you like better, Disney or... Oh, that was me. <laughs> exactly. I prefer blue. T-shirt, which T-shirt do I like? I like uh, simple T-shirts. Robbie Satta, which do you like? I think you need to be a bit more specific because I don't understand what you're asking me. Which do you like? What, what, what choice are you giving me? Ah, okay. Which 
uh, are your, what, okay. With here, we'd say, what is your favorite movie? Because you're not choosing, you're not choosing from one thing or another. You're choosing just one thing out of everything. What is your favorite movie? If you were to say, which is your favorite movie? You would have to mention two different types of movies. Yes. Which dress do you prefer? Which is the best? Ooh, seldom. Okay, Ugolino came in with another uh, adverb of frequency, which is seldom used, and it's uh, it means rarely, rarely, seldom, hardly ever, and seldom is very very formal. Yes, so seldom is another adverb of frequency. Good questions. I prefer Disney. I prefer Disney to Marvel, which is used for choice. Yes, exactly. Okay, how, how is used for? How, when do we use how? You're all doing very well. How, when do we use how? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> okay, how is used for condition? Okay, so how do you? Oh, mm, not how are here. It would be how are you doing today? How can oh, Raffaele? Ooh, there we go. Perfect. How for condition? Perfect. Good. How for condition? So, how do you? Who can use how in a question? How do you? What? How does he, she? How long does ooh, how, it take to get to war? Perfect. Great. How long does it take from Rome? to get to New York by plane. You would need to add Rome here. How long does it take from Rome to get to New York by plane? Great, how are you? Excellent, Fiorella, perfect. How do you? How are you? Good. How do you do? Very formal, very good, very good. How do you do is another very formal way to say, how are you? It's a very incredibly formal way to say, uh, nice to meet you. How are you? Yes. How do you do? Perfect. And how often? When do we use how often? What is how often used for? How often? How often? Exactly. So we see in that we see the adverb of frequency ha often. So often it has to be for frequency. So how often? How can we use how often in a sentence? Frequency. How often? How often do? How often do or does? Another example sentence. How often do you go to the seaside, for example? Oh, how often does he take? Oh, we're missing something here, Titi. How, how often does he take out for dinner? Who? Who does he take out for dinner? We're missing something here. How often does he take you or me? I don't know. Who does he take out for dinner? We're missing something here, Titi. How often do you go to work? Too often. <laughs> How often do you go to the seaside, which was mine? How often do you go to the cinema? I go, I never go to the cinema because I have children. How often do you exercise? Uh, not often now because the 
Gyms are closed. And how often do you do you, how often do you go on holiday? Uh, I would like to go on holidays more often, but I have work. <laughs> Very good questions, by the way. Very excellent questions. Perfect. Which way shall we go? Look at you, Ugolino. All right. Which way shall we go? I don't know. Left or right? It's up to you. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. So we know who is for people. What is for things? Where is for places or situations? When is for time? Why is for reason? Which is for choice? How is for condition? And how often is for frequency? Perfect. Moving on. Let's go. This is a trick, okay? This is a helpful trick to remind us of how to structure questions. It's called the quasi trick or quasi, quasi, whatever you like to call it. Follow this easy trick to remember the word order. Today we're working on do and does, yes, but you can use other auxiliary verbs, but today only do and does. So qu equals question word, a equals auxiliary verb, do or does, s equals subject, so we or the movie, and then i equals the infinitive. Uh, study or start so the verb yes now choose a verb follow the pattern and ask your partner some questions eat sleep work study play go so what words can you think of what questions can you think of to create questions what word what what can you think of to create questions here so we have uh, we have our question words, why, who, what, how, how often, which, when. Then we have do or does, and then we have to add the subject, and then we have to add the infinitive. So, uh, for example, eat. Oh, what time do you sleep? Mm, very early. Very early, Fiorella. Very, uh, I go to bed very early. <laughs> very early. Perfect. So send me your questions, send me your questions. Um, how often do you, mm, let me think, eat pasta? Here we go. Frequency, how often do you eat pasta? How far is it? Perfect, yes. You don't need to just use these verbs. You can use any verb. Yes, these are just here to help you. You can use any verb that you like. Who can send me a question? I will answer. When do you play? Oh, I play with my children all day. <sighs> Pancake. Excuse me, what's pancake? Oh, pancakes. So with pancakes, yes? We don't separate the two words. How often do you make pancakes? So it's plural because it's in general, it's one pancake. How often do you make pancake would be one, but pancakes, plural, yes? in general. So how often do you make pancakes? Uh, uh, I rarely make pancakes. <laughs> uh, where do you work? I work at Mayas Livorno or Leghorn, yes. Ooh, what time of day do you go to the supermarket? Very good question. I go to the supermarket. I go to the supermarket after lunch. Great questions. Great questions. What about who can who can ask me a why question? Why? Why? Who can ask me a why question?
What do you prefer to eat? Oh, okay. Usually, with prefer, we we have choices. When you use the word to pref prefer something, you would uh, you would ask about choices. What do you prefer to eat? Do you prefer pasta or pizza, for example? Uh, so my favorite food is Mexican food. Uh, so I would prefer to eat Mexican food over, we say over, over Italian food. Yes. <laughs> and how often do you go back? <laughs> uh, Rarely. Rarely, yeah. Oh, in Salerno. I have a brother-in-law that lives in Salerno, in Vietri sul Mare, and he is a policeman. Watch out. <laughs> oh, how, okay, how many ingredients, you would say? How many ingredients? How many ingredients? Um, uh, you know, I'm not Italian, but um, okay, flour, flour, yeast, water, salt, uh, cheese, tomatoes. Oh, no, you can't ask me this. You live in Vietnam. Oh, wow, well, hello. <laughs> So uh, that's where my brother-in-law lives also. Say hello to Giuseppe. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, we have something in common, we say. When we have uh, something, si when we, we have similar interests, we have something in common. Something. And by the way, Vietri sul Mare is a beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful place. Okay. Let's move on. A person, a place, or a thing. Make questions with singular nouns. When movie start, when does the movie start? Okay, it's does because the movie is it, third person. Not he, not she, but it. The movie is not you, the movie is not they, the movie is not we, the movie is it. When does it start? When does the movie start? Yes. Where your teacher live? How often John speak on the phone? What music and like? Where the race finish? Why rain in the spring? Who can answer? Who can who can make the questions? Who can form the questions here? So where your teacher live? What do we need to put? First, we have to put where. Because question words start, uh, questions start with question words. And then, then what? We need an auxiliary verb, correct? So where? Who can answer? <laughs> where? Where? You guys know this. Oh, Fiorella, perfect. So where does your teacher live? Okay, so I live in Leghorn or Livorno, perfect. Number two, so we have how often is the beginning, is the start of the question. How often? We need to choose whether it's do or does. Oh, yes, does. Perfect. Good. Where? How often does John speak on the phone? Good. Filippo, how often does? And Fiorella, perfect. Three and what music do or does? How, oh, yes. Oh, Fiorella, you're, you're doing so great. Ha, what music does Anne like? Because it's third person. Anne is she. What does she? 
what music does Anne like? Number four, where the race finish? Do or does? Oh, yes, okay, Fiorella, perfect. And why do or does rain in the spring? Okay, great, Robby. Oh, hey, Robby, I don't think I've, have I heard from you? Hi. Great, so trick question, they're all does. <laughs> Where does, how often, oh no, do, this one's do. How often do, oh no, this one's does, sorry. They're all does, it's a trick question. Where does your teacher live? How often does John speak on the phone? What music does Anne like? Where does the race finish? And why does, rain, why does it rain in the spring? So we can see all of these subjects are third person, okay? It's either he or she or it, yes? And last question. I'm going to ask you two more questions because we're about to run out of time. Uh, Hollywood bound. Ask your partner questions with the question words. So you guys are my partners. Who is your favorite movie star? Tell me. Who is your favorite movie star? Tell me who your favorite movie star is. Right now, I like Jason Mamoa <laughs> because, you know, Obvious reasons. <laughs> uh, who is your favorite movie star? And tell me why. Why are they your favorite movie star? Why? I like Jason Momoa because he is a, <laughs> yeah, he is handsome. <laughs> He's very handsome. Uh, he's uh, handsome and he's also a, a, a good person, I think. He's, he's, he's a good person. From, from what I have seen, he's, he is a good person. Natalie Portman, Filippo, why Natalie Portman? <laughs> Angelina Jolie, she is very talented, very talented. Yeah. Anybody else? Does anybody else have any favorite movie stars? Anyway, what we need to remember from this focus activity, who is for people? What is for things? Where is for places or situations? When is for time? Why is for reason? Which is for choice? How is for condition? And how often is for frequency? Remember the quasi trick, yes? Question word, auxiliary verb, subject, and infinitive. Today we worked on do and does. Do, I do. You do, we do, they do. He does, she does, it does. And that is the end of our webinar today. Uh, I will be online tomorrow. So I hope you are safe at home and enjoy your time at home, off work. <laughs> okay, nice to, uh, nice to speak to you all and have a good time. Have a good night. Enjoy your dinner. Bye.